All right, so this could be one of the most interesting MIDI generators I've ever seen. It's called Audio Cipher. Basically, you can type in a prompt, any phrase, any word, a sentence, a paragraph, and it will spit out some MIDI. You can go melody mode or you can go chord mode. I'm going to go chord mode here and I'm going to type in you get me. You can also fine tune the BPM, the root note. Let's go D sharp minor. You can go triads. You can include triplets. You can choose your timing here. I'll just go quarter note for now. All right. And then if you look down here, we have two of the biggest new features that are in the audio cipher MIDI vault and the MIDI generator is join notes and inversions. Join notes is if you have any like repeating notes, it will then join those notes together and make them like one continuous note if it notices any like repeating notes. Inversions, if you're not familiar with chord inversions, you can actually hear it when I hit play in a second here. So let's say you have one note in a chord that has three notes altogether. One of those notes will then be inverted from the octave that it is at to a higher or a lower octave. So you can actually hear it in this case here. I'll select join notes as well. And then on the inversions side of things, if you select inversions, you can hear this chord progression right now. Now you can hear the difference if I unselect the inversions tab. It's essentially the same exact chord progression. Just one of the notes is inverted. So it sounds slightly darker or brighter. I'm going to leave inversions on here. So basically that has a default sound. And if you want to drag that in, click and drag it right into the channel rack of FL. And there's our chord progression. I'm going to throw a plug in on this. Then another really awesome and critical feature of the new update here in audio cipher is the fact that we can save this MIDI chord progression, hit the save button. It'll automatically name it over here. You can give it a ranking and then you can select different types of moods and genres as well. Something like we had bells there. We'll just leave bells, keyboards. We'll save that. You can select the mood. This one sounds kind of dreamy and bright. Save that as well. And you can select the genre. This now saves in your card menu over on the left hand side of the plugin, which is all brand new by the way so that way you can access this midi and all these other midis whenever you want and by the way all of these different vibes and different genres and different instruments and different chord progressions right here come with the new update as well so you can go through and audio cipher actually gives you an entire giant pack of these so that way you can just get right to creating with the stuff that they give you as well as the stuff that you create using text to midi all right so now let's go over to melody mode and add a top melody on top of this melody mode Let's change it to eighth. Let's do a different phrase. It said last night I went to the store and grabbed some soda. I drank it all and now I regret it. LOL. Let's see what it does. Same key, same scale, same root. Let's do eighth notes. I kind of like that. Let's drag it in because that's just the default sound. So let's drag it into a new plugin. Now, what I love about MIDI is that you can fine tune this and make it anything you'd like. So I'm going to go back into the chord progression, flip it around a little bit, add some bass notes. All right. And also, like, if you look over here, you can see that I've dragged in a bunch of my MIDIs that I can just store here and organize. As you saw, like a little while ago, you can organize them by vibe, type, mood, genre. And it's so easy to just literally like click and drag straight into the channel rack from here. The reason why it's good is because you can organize all of your MIDI here and you can simply drag and drop from this window as well because sometimes it gets a little bit confusing in the fl browser so this is a really good plugin to just keep things organized in general and you literally just click and drag it straight out yeah so then up top in this window right here like i said you can go type different instruments mood and then by genre as well you can filter searches you can go by scale by bpm you can display has midi or has audio or both so this side of audio cipher right here is all brand new these are all brand new features and it's really really in depth and it really helps you organize your midi that is from outside of audio cipher or within audio cipher which is really dope to me so anything that i created outside of audio cipher i can also drag in here and i can organize it just like this now i'm going to add some halftime also added halftime so this is the patch that i have in here now for this one So I half time both the chord progression and that top melody, but I bumped that top melody up another octave. So it's higher up. So on that one, all I have is gross beat with some half time and I boosted the lows because I just want the bass from that. And then with that top one, I also added gross beat. I threw some other effects on here. I threw effect tricks, did some looping and reverse, turned the mix knob down, did a vinyl stop as well.
All right, and these are the drums that I created. One other thing that I've been loving about Audio Cypher is the fact that like we can also import and export audio as well as MIDI. So let's say we bounce this and consolidate this to audio right here. This is the MIDI that we've actually created with Audio Cypher. So now we have this audio and let's just like save it to the desktop. Now we open up Audio Cypher and you can literally click and drag that audio straight into the card. And now you see audio files right here. So this is the exact audio file that matches up with this MIDI that we just created as well. And again, it's under the same type mood and genre so that will coincide with the mini that you created as of right now this is just an idea this isn't finished but so if we listen to all those the chord progression and that top melody that we got from audio cypher and the drums it sounds like this so yeah let me know what you think about audio cypher and if you want to try it out for yourself hit the link down in the description below and as always share this with a friend if you get me